Do you ever feel like life's noise is just too much and you're searching for a pause button? In tough times, we all seek a bit of calm. But guess what? You're not alone in this quest for peace. And in our deen, there is a very practical yet spiritual solution. Assalamu alaikum. I'm your brother Abu Abdis Salam speaking to you from the blessed city of Mecca. That's Mecca al Mukarramah. Let's talk about how Allah puts peace and serenity in our hearts, making our Iman stronger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Allah is the one who sent down serenity and tranquility upon the hearts of the believers so that they may increase even more in their Iman or faith. Allah then continues, to Allah alone belongs the forces of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is all knowing, all wise. Allahu Akbar, Allah is in charge, always knowing, always guiding. Our religion, Islam, is a complete way of life. It provides us with guidance in every aspect of our lives, including how to deal with stress and anxiety. One of the beauties of Islam is that it doesn't just acknowledge the struggles that we go through, but it also provides us with the tools and the mechanisms or means to cope and find peace. Let's start with a powerful dua narrated by Ahmed from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, No person suffers any anxiety or grief and then says, Allahumma inni abduka, ibn abdika, ibn amatika, nasiyati biyadika, maadin fiya hukmuk, adlun fi qada'uk, as'aluka bi kulli ismin huwa lak, سَمَّيْتَ بِهِ نَفْسَكَ أَوْ أَنزَلْتَهُ فِي كِتَابِكَ أَوْ عَلَّمْتَهُ أَحَدًا مِنْ خَلْقِكَ أَوْ اسْتَأْثَرْتَ بِهِ فِي عِلْمِ الْغَيْبِ عِنْدَكَ أَنْ تَجْعَلَ الْقُرْآنَ رَبِيعَ قَلْبِي وَنُورَ صَدْرِي وَجَلَاءَ حُزْنِي وَذَهَابَ هَمِّي This dua means, O oh Allah, I am your servant, the son of your male servant, the son of your female servant, and I am at your disposal. My forelock is in your hand. Your judgment is effective regarding me. Your decree upon me is just. I ask you by every name you have, by which you have called yourself, or sent down in your book, or taught any of your creatures, or kept to yourself in the hidden place of the unseen, I ask you to make the Quran the spring of my heart and the means of clearing away my care and grief. The Prophet is saying that no one suffers from anxiety or grief and then says this except that Allah will take away his sorrow and grief and give him joy in their place. Subhanallah, how amazing is this? In this dua, we are acknowledging our complete servitude and dependency on Allah. We're reminding ourselves of Allah's power over us and that his decree is just. We are asking Allah by all his beautiful names and attributes which encompass his mercy, his knowledge, his power. We are asking him to fill our hearts with the light of the Quran to relieve our stress and to replace our sorrow with joy. What a beautiful way to connect with Allah and to seek His help. But it doesn't stop there. The Prophet ﷺ encouraged us to learn these words and to teach them to others. He understood the weight of anxiety and grief and he gave us the tools to lift that weight off our shoulders. This hadith is classed as authentic by Albani in a silsila as sahihah Now let's move on to another powerful dua supplication narrated by Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, the dua of the person who is in distress is, Allahumma rahmataka arju fala takilni ila nafsi tarfata ayn wa aslih li sha'ni kullah la ilaha illa ant. Oh Allah, I hope for your mercy. Do not leave me to myself even for the blinking of an eye, meaning even for a moment. Correct all of my affairs for me. There is none that has the right to be worshipped but you. So in this dua, we are expressing our hope in Allah's mercy and asking Him not to leave us to our own devices, even for the blink of an eye, even for a second. We are acknowledging our own weakness and Allah's strength. And we are asking Him to rectify all our affairs. Another powerful dua is, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-hammi wal-hazan, wal-ajzi wal-kasal, wal-bukhli wal-jubni, in this dua that the Prophet ﷺ used to recite habitually, we seek refuge in Allah from all forms of anxiety and depression. We seek refuge in Him from weakness 
and lethargy, being incapacitated. We seek refuge in Him from cowardice and greediness, and we seek refuge in Him from being overcome with debt and overpowered by people, other humans. SubhanAllah. This dua shows us the all-encompassing nature of the Prophet Wasallam's words. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us strive to rely upon Allah when we are faced with life's challenges and stay persistent upon good. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the strength to stand firm in our faith. Remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who can change our affairs. Allah can change the situation that you're in. Allah can change your heart. So instead of picking up the phone and texting everyone, just complaining and complaining and complaining, what should we really be doing? The first one that we should turn to is the only one that has the absolute power to change the way we feel, to change and remove our anxiety, our depression, our concerns, our hardships. Allah is the one who is Qadirun ala kulli shay. He's able to do all things. He's the wise, he's the merciful, he's the all-knower. He knows what you're facing. So every day make these du'as as much as you can. Make them part of your daily ritual so that you can not only be content with Allah's decree, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you peace and tranquility in your heart. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove all of our anxieties and depression and hardships and make it easy for us and give us a strong relationship with Him. Don't forget to share this video with others so that they may also benefit. Once again, I'm your brother Abu Abdul Salam speaking to you from Mecca. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.